Welcome to the next video in the series of die casting. Here we're going to be looking at the die casting process step by step. To start with, let's have a look at the clamping phase. The first step is to prepare the die halves for casting by cleaning the faces of each die, then applying ejection, lubrication or release agent. Once the die has been prepared, the die halves are closed and clamped together with pressure applied from the die cast machine. The clamping force will depend upon the size of the machine, but must be more than the opposing force trying to open the die during the casting process. You can see the release agent being applied to one half of the die in this image here. The injection phase. The ingots are added to the furnace and kept molten at a set temperature according to the metal being used. The molten metal is transferred to an injection chamber and ejected into the closed die at pressures ranging between 1000 and 20,000 psi. The pressure is maintained while the metal solidifies. The amount injected into the die is known as the shot. The injection of metal into a die is very short. This ensures the metal does not start to solidify before the die is completely filled. This image shows the transferring of molten metal from the furnace into the holding chamber. Cooling phase. After injection is complete, the molten metal needs to solidify before the die is opened. The cooling time will depend upon the part geometry as well as the metal thermodynamic properties. The wall thickness of the part plays a big factor in the cooling time. The thicker the wall sections, the longer the cooling time requires. The images over here on the top, we have a fairly complex casting which will take longer to cool as opposed to the simple pulley at the bottom. The ejection phase. After the cooling time has lapsed, the two die halves can be opened. The ejection mechanism then pushes the solidified casting out of the die. The force of the ejection will be determined by the size of the part Bearing in mind, the part shrinks during the cooling process and tends to stick to the die surface. Once the part has been ejected, the die can be closed ready for the next injection cycle. Here you can see the part being ejected from the die. The trimming phase. During the cooling and solidification phase, the casting will solidify as a complete cast unit which includes the part, flash, and any runner system. This excess material must be trimmed off to leave just the main cast product. Methods of trimming include trim tools, bandsaw, or manually clipping. Any trimmed metal is either scrapped or recycled if permitted. Here you can see the main part with the runner system here, and flash. All of this needs to be trimmed off. Here is an animation from China Savvy. This is the die casting process. Steel die cast tools placed on the machine. The machine is not shown here. The die casting mold is closed. Molten metal aluminium in this case, flows into the injection and then injected into the die. The material cools in the mould. Once solidified, the mould opens. Ejector it then pushes out the part from the tool. The sprue and flash is removed, revealing the finished die cast.
Don't forget to check out our other videos in this series, and you can always contact us if you need any help with your projects in China. For your convenience, there is a link below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Oh, and you see this little bell symbol over here? Make sure you hit that because that will notify you each time we upload new content. Thanks for listening. My name is Paul Adams from Southeast, and I shall see you in the next video. Music